Hi guys, my name is Melissa Gomes and I read the book Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. So this story takes place in around like the 1800s and there's two households and they're the main households of this book. So you have Thrush Cross Grange, which is like the more proper household, and then you have Wuthering Heights, which is like creepy, ugly, like I would personally never want to even sleep in that house for a single day because it's just not good. So the main characters are Heathcliff and Captain Earnshaw. Then you have Edgar Linton, Miss Dean, who is a servant, Mr. Hindley Earnshaw, who is the father of Catherine and Catherine and Hindley. And then you have Mr. Lockwood. Okay. So in the beginning you have Mr. Lockwood who comes to Weathering Heights and he wants to be a tenant at Thrush Cross Grange. So he goes there to meet with Heathcliff. And then he, when he goes there, he encounters a lot of rude people. Like, no one in this book is nice. They're all rude. So he goes back to Thrush Cross Grange, and he becomes ill there. And once he's there, he wants, a ser um, he wants someone to keep his, him company. So he has Miss Dean, the servant, come and tell him the story of Heathcliff. And this is where the story really takes off. So Catherine and Henley, as I said before, are siblings and their father's name is Mr. Earnshaw. One day, Mr. Earnshaw goes to the village of Gimmerton, and when he returns, he returns with this ugly looking boy, like so horrendous, like the kids are like, why did you bring him? And his response was he didn't want to leave Heathcliff, at the time he didn't have a name, alone to die on the street by himself. So a tragic event happens and Mr. Earnshaw dies. And with his death, Catherine is torn apart. And it's during this time period where Catherine and Heathcliff really get close to each other. Hen Henley, on the other hand, does not like Heathcliff at all. He never did from the beginning, and he never will. And he highly disapproves of them being together. So Henley is now in charge of Wuthering Heights, and he turns Heathcliff into his servant. One day, um, Heathcliff and Catherine, they like to go on these excursions. So they went, um, they go through the moors and they decide that they're gonna torment two children. So right now we're at Wuthering Heights. So at the Thrush Cross Grange, you have the Linton family and they have their two children, Isabella and Edgar. And they decide to torment them, but then they get caught. And then as, as they're leaving, Catherine gets injured and she's forced to stay at the manor. So when she's there, she stays there for six months, and when she returns, she returns a completely like transformed like lady, less barbarian-like, and this really has an effect on Heathcliff. So now she becomes really close with the Linton children, and eventually she um, starts to not fall in love, but she marries Edgar Linton, and this angers Heathcliff dearly because he they are still madly in love, but she chose him, for like the most arbitrary reason ever. It's not even like sensible why she chose him, but she does. And then Heathcliff leaves when he finds out that about their marriage. And he comes back three years later and he's rich. And now his only plan is to seek revenge. So that's mainly the rest of the book is how he's gonna enact his revenge. I would recommend this book because it's very interesting and it's a twisted love story. The motives for why certain characters do what they do is completely crazy and it's aggravating in the beginning especially. So watch out for that. And the, one of the cons that I have about this book is, is it's confusing. It uses a lot of high academic vocab words. So like you need a dictionary when you read it. And the dialect, especially for Joseph, is really hard to understand, like I could barely understand it and I would have to reread it over and over again just to understand like, one word he said. And it does take a while to get into, probably like the fourth or fifth chapter when it starts to get interesting. But the, the part I like most about the book is how it connects, like there's a lot of parallelism and there's an important event that happens in the beginning and you don't think it, that it's important until the very end of the book and it like ties it all together. And it was just really interesting. It takes a long time to read, so it's not a quick read and an easy read, but it's a quick read.